Now at 5.30, months after being critically injured in a deadly car crash, a Rancho Santa Margarita teenager leaves a hospital to great fanfare. 17-year-old Cruz Melendez was driving home from work in late May when he was hit head-on by a car that crossed the median. Yeah, today, after a very long and painful recovery, the Tribuco Hills High School student is ready to get on with his life. John Fanilio joins us live from Mission Viejo. He's got more on the story. Hey, John. Hey, Corden Rick, good evening to you. An injury can be a powerful motivator, and in the case of the young man you're about to meet, an inspiration to all of us. It has been a long road to recovery for 17-year-old Cruz Melendez. It's crazy. I can't believe it. I didn't get like any days of summer or anything, but it's all good. I'm getting out now. But now, 88 days after being rushed to the emergency room at Chalk Mission Hospital, this Tribuco Hills High School triathlete is finally going home. I love you, Cruz. You can see he has a lot of fans. See him just make that huge step to get out of the hospital. It was just like, wow, like he did it. Like he did that. Really good to see you out. It's due in no small part to his indomitable spirit. I try to keep my mindset as positive as possible. And I mean, like I've broken down a couple times here just because of how hard it's been, but try to stay positive and you know, like God's got me. On the night of May 24th, as he was driving home from work, Melendez was struck head on by a speeding driver. The crash killed the oncoming motorist and badly injured another unidentified passenger. Melendez had to be extricated from the wreckage. When I got a call at two o'clock in the morning, I just knew I knew something was wrong and I didn't even answer the phone. I went straight to his room and he was not there. Since then, he's endured 16 surgeries. His last procedure was Thursday. Doctors had to amputate his right leg. I, I couldn't really see myself walking on my foot just because of how bad the wounds were. And my bone was like out of my foot basically and had an infection and stuff. And so after like a week, I was like, I'm done. Just go for the amputation. You can imagine how hard of a decision that must have been, but he's not letting it slow him down. I'll be back walking, running and playing games in no time. It's an inspiring prediction but one this kid is sure of. I want to say how I've learned gratefulness through this journey. I mean, I'm just so grateful for like my friends and family and everyone else that's like reached out, gave me donations and stuff. It's just amazing. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for medical costs and rehabilitation. If you'd like to help, you can find a link on our website, ktla.com.